Back in 2016, I was working at a summer camp in western Pennsylvania. It was my third summer there, and by far my favorite. As a high schooler, spending months away from home in the woods was a dream come true, especially given that the months were spent working with kids or veterans, with the occasional interesting school group or corporate group. Most of my work was maintenance, logistics, or facilities, but occasionally I was put on as a counselor for a team with children. The days were long, but after we finished our duties, we were free to string up our hammocks and sleep anywhere we'd like around the camp, so long as we didn't disturb any groups. And it was late in the season, so by this night, myself and my two buddies were plenty comfortable with the area and decided to sleep at the edge of the furthest cabin loop. We triple stacked our hammocks, one above the other on the same two trunks, and started the fire just before the daylight retreated from the trees. The edge of this loop was quite far away from the headquarters cabin and chow hall, so any light from the night shift lamps died out long before it reached us. The cabin we were by, a bit more dilapidated than the rest of our cabins, was on the outside edge of the trail, which represented the extent of our cabin before miles of forest. This section, in particular, has denser underbrush. The outside edge of the trail being lined by a wall of briars a couple yards thick and just over head height, almost like a hedge wall. The cabin's steps fell out onto the trail, and just across from that was a fire pit. Our triple stack was a few yards from the fire pit, still on the near side of the trail. We stayed up for a few hours and chatted about whatever popped into our high schooler brains. Body counts, the military, music... The campfire slowly died down as we talked, and as the flickering lights pulled back from the cabin and briar wall to slink back into the embers of the pit, we decided to call it a night. We snapped a photo of ourselves in front of our stack and climbed up to sleep. As I lay there waiting to sleep, it occurred to me that the forest wasn't right. There were no nighttime bugs making their usual ambience. No frogs. Even the rustling of the leaves in the breeze was dampened. And the breeze, it was colder than any night previous and colder than any July ought to be. The lack of ambience seeped into me. Every pop from the low-glowing embers in the pit echoed amongst the trees and struck my nerves. I strained to hear anything, hoping for the crickets to come back. And then it started. Out past the briar wall, some kind of noise was heard, felt, bounding and reverberating across the trunks. Sounded almost like an axe hitting a tree, but too soft on the tail end. And at this time of night? And it's a bit fast for that. Steady. But no one could draw back an axe and strike again that fast. At least not with enough force to make such a solid noise. It's almost like it's growing louder. And almost in an exact set of three. I open my hammock and turn my head towards the outer edge of the trail. Towards that noise. I could just make out a dim orange light in the woods past the briars. No, 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 that's not growing louder. It's coming closer. I look down to my friends and feebly ask if they heard the noise. The fear in their half-whispered yeses struck me through the frozen air. It couldn't have been more than ten yards behind the briar wall now, and we all knew it. Without a word, we sprung from the hammocks, started stuffing everything in our day packs as fast as we could. It felt like we were packed in seconds and started running past the fire pit to head down the hill towards Camp Main. It was just behind the briar wall now, but we were packed, ready to run, and yet... Felt like it was all I could hear. I suddenly felt a pull. 
I turned back towards the briars and I could see a dull orange glow seeping through the twisted limbs of the thicket now, and I just wanted to see. My friends could see my intention. One pleaded with me. We have to go now. What are you doing? I remember replying. If we don't look now, we'll never know. Just one look and we go. I stepped towards the wall, and it felt so right. My second friend grabbed my shoulders, and as soon as he touched me, it felt like my head was swimming. Before I could reply or protest, he started pulling me down the path towards the main. I remember feeling warmer the closer we got towards the central camp. Admittedly, we ran the entire trail back, but it was like the forest thawed. The insect chatter came back first, then the frogs, then the leaves on the wind. The woods regained its usual inviting feel. We slept on the floor of the dining facility. Can't say why, I suddenly felt so compelled and so sure that I needed to go past the briar wall and look that night. But what would have happened if my friends didn't stop me? All I know is that we stuck to Camp Maine for the rest of the season, and that when we looked in the morning, the photo we took had three dull orange orbs floating across the background.